I die, the dogs will fix me. Hey guys, Pete here. Today I've got a quick Expanse video to address some questions about the finale and those opening scenes on Laconia. I also have to mention that today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stand out online with a professional website, online store, or portfolio with Squarespace. The Expanse Season 6 is the final season of the series as far as we know. There are three more novels that continue the story and we do hope that they will someday be adapted, but for now this is all there is. So a lot of viewers have been asking what was the point of introducing us to Kara and Zan? This clearly sets up things for later, so why take time out of each episode if you're not sure you're ever going to be able to pay things off? We got into this in the finale livestream discussion we did, and I was the only one that seemed to be in favor of including the scenes, and also happened to be the only one who'd read the complete story through book 9. So in this video, I'll reiterate the point I made there, and there's also an interview with the creators that we can look at where they were asked the same question and addressed it. For spoilers, I'll be talking about everything that happened in the show through the season 6 finale and some details from the Strange Dogs novella. If you're not caught up, then this video might not be for you. And with that out of the way, let's jump into it. So there's one thing that influences my thinking that you might have missed in the show's version of Kara and Zan's story. For background, Kara and her family came to the planet with the initial survey group from Earth, and then the breakaway fleet arrived from Mars and essentially took over. There's a classroom scene where the soldier who's talking to the kids says, Those of you who've been here longer can help people like me who came later by telling us about anything that seems different or changed, especially in the last few weeks. He doesn't really explain why he wants to know this information. In the book, he says you've probably noticed that the orbital platforms have been activated, and in the show you're just supposed to put that together when you look at all these scenes as a whole. And they show you this rather than tell you when Duarte's looking up and you see that there's some kind of construction going on. The implication is the same. Bringing the active protomolecule sample to the planet does activate the gate builder tech that was left behind after their extinction. This is similar to what the crew of the Rosinante saw happen on Illus in season four. But the Laconians think they're in a better position to control what happens. They brought Cortazar along, who knows more about the protomolecule than most, and they have the Illus incident to look at and draw some lessons from. There are still a ton of unknowns, though, and and the strange dogs that Kara encounters are just one example of something they couldn't anticipate. This is the kind of change the soldier was asking the kids about. Bringing the protomolecule to the planet was what woke the dog-like creatures up. Kara saw them as a tool to solve her problems, which included bringing her brother back from the dead. And that all stemmed from her being too young to have developed the healthy fear of the unknown she would need in that situation. She had a problem she couldn't solve, she needed some help, and they were there to provide it. So maybe you picked up on that while you were watching, but I know some of the people I talked to missed it and just wanted to make sure that was clear. In a Polygon interview that just came out with the showrunner Narain Shankar and the two authors, Ty Frank and Daniel Abraham, they asked them why they wanted to include Strange Dogs in the first place. The showrunner said it was a way to connect the events of Season 6 to the big questions that ended Season 5. It was about who Marco was working with, how he managed to get a hold of the Martian ships, he paid them with the protomolecule and cortisar, so they thought they should show what happened when they took that through the ring. Plus, you had the ending of Season 5 where you saw the bar Keith get eaten as it transited the ring. He said there was a way to deal with all these questions and also not lose some focus on the protomolecule, which was really the thing that has always been at the center. I absolutely agree with this and would add that introducing what's happening there is important for when you see Duarte refuse further help to Marco and tell him that they're cutting off access to the Laconia ring. This sets up a nice enduring mystery, something to think about, to contemplate after everything is wrapped up in Soul System. I think for those reasons alone that it's worth including, but I think there's a better reason baked in and I'll get to that in a minute. After I talk about something much less mysterious, the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. 
Recently, I wanted to put together a website and I found Squarespace to be really user friendly. It was simple to jump right in and start to create a website or you could put together an online store with marketing tools and analytics built in. For what I was looking to do, the video blocks were great. Just paste the URL and upload a custom thumbnail. And I appreciated that all the templates have built in mobile websites. Just make it once and it looks great across all devices. While you're working, you can toggle the views back and forth and get the design just how you like it. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Pete Peppers to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I brought up the enduring mystery of what's going to happen on Laconia now that Xan has been brought back to life by a creature that appeared after an active protomolecule sample was brought to the planet. It's been established that the protomolecule was used to build roads by an advanced civilization that's been extinct for billions of years. They sent out probes containing the protomolecule, and that hijacked any primitive life that was available and went on to create a ring, which then connected to the ring gate network. The one that they sent to our solar system System got trapped in Saturn's orbit, so it wasn't able to build its gate until humans evolved enough to be able to travel that far from Earth and discover it. We know that much, but it's still completely mysterious, and it's the kind of situation where just when you think you might understand something about it, you realize you're only seeing part of the picture. When they were asked, the creators said that what you see is that people think they understand it and they try to bend it to their will only to discover that there's something else going on. So the bottom line turns out to be that we could not understand it. And that's been a big part of the story throughout. Ty Frank brought up the story they used to explain this about a bunch of monkeys that found a microwave. They have no context, so one of them opens up the door and he realizes you can put things inside. When you open the door, a light comes on so they think it's a way to illuminate the darkness. And another one says this is really heavy and I can break things with it. So it's a handy weapon for getting stuff. You can use a microwave for all of these things, but a monkey has never reheated a frozen burrito. So a big thing about the protomolecule is people keep saying it must be this. And to quote Ty, and we're always wrong, because the context in which the protomolecule was created and the species that created it, we share no context with. And so as Narain said, we keep breaking ourselves on this because we don't understand it. And in many ways, we will never be able to understand it. So we'll just keep beating each other to death with it, thinking it's it's a big rock. And I think that's why it's important to include this story as part of season six, which all things considered had a hopeful and somewhat happy ending. At least the war came to a conclusion and humanity moved in a positive direction in relation to the divisions between people in our solar system. The point being that humanity is complicated, but we do skew more towards good rather than evil. And this shows how delicate any progress that comes from that can be. With something like the protomolecule, there will always be someone who will emerge to try to use it to their advantage. And what I always liked about the story Strange Dogs was that it was told from the perspective of a child. In a lot of ways, humanity hasn't behaved much better than children in their interactions with it, or if you prefer, than a bunch of monkeys who discovered a microwave. Part of what drives men like Jules Pierre Mao, or in this case Winston Duarte, is the belief that if they don't try to control the protomolecule, someone else will. And they aren't necessarily wrong about that. In my next video, I'll get into why Duarte made his move through the ring gate, and for now, I think this is a good place to leave things. Let me know your thoughts about including Karen Zan's story in season 6, how you think it worked out, did it make sense, and do you think it added to a more complete story? Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.